I know I didn't just sit down and turn the camera on and the battery is dead. I'll be right back. Never waste no time, never let you go I'ma be like a sugar, give it to you nice and slow All the girls around the world got nothing on you You know you got it, girl You got it I want you to follow me, follow me, follow me Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, I do call my lovely subscribers kings and queens because you are royalty and you should be addressed as none other than such. Point blank. Period. For today's video, you guys, we are going into this hair. We are getting into it, getting into it. I know the thumbnail obviously is not the same because I cut it. I cut it into a bob. But we love versatility, so. It's still the same hair, it's still the same quality, it's still the same beautiful lace goodness. It's just, I love this hair so. So I was sent this hair a while ago. Um, I have been literally trying, um, this is, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I reinstalled the hair in this video. Um, so this is my second installment. Honestly, I just wanted to wear the hair, wash it, flat iron, literally try everything to sh basically show you guys and tell y'all what's up about this hair because I'm not gonna let y'all get hair and it's trash. So many of y'all have been asking me about this hair too and I had to hold off on doing the review because I was wearing it. I was trying to gather all the notes, the tea about this hair before I let y'all you know, know what it is. I can't give you a good review if I only wore it for a day. First and foremost, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me right now. I'm gonna leave it on the screen for y'all um, in the and also in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me. I love you guys, I love you so much. So the hair company that I'm featuring today is Afford Hair. If I am showing the unboxing of the hair like below, don't mind it, it's just to show you guys what it looked like straight out of the package. So this is from Afford Hair. Um, before I cut this, of course, it was 20 inches. Um, and I'll show you guys what that obviously looks like and you'll see what it looks like on the screen, you know, how straight out the box, how it would look 20 inches straight. Um, so this is obviously an ombre wig. It comes colored like this. Um, I did not color it at all. Y'all were asking me, what color did you use? I didn't color it because I would have effed it up if I did it myself. But the exact like number color is like 1B27. So 1B27. This is 150% density and a 13 by four um, lace frontal. For the reinstallment, I am gonna be showing you guys how I did the ball cap method. And I, this is my first time ever doing a ball cap method. So y'all don't judge me, okay? If you guys wanna sit back and watch how I installed this wig using the ball cap method, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so this is what the hair looks like when it's all nice and washed. This is a reinstallment, as you guys can see, the lace has already been cut. Um, it's already been bleached and everything. If you guys wanna see a video on how I bleach the lace or bleach my knots, then I will leave a link to one of my videos up so you guys can check that out. If you see this little band here, I did, I always add bands at the nape of the neck so that when I put my wigs on, it could be like real snug and like fit to my head. This is the length of it when I step out all of it. And this is how much shedding I received from um, the wash that I did do. Keep in mind that I had the hair installed already. So this is like using the free spray gels on the edges and stuff like that. Like this is me brushing everything out. Um, honestly, I don't think it's that much hair anyway. If it was any bigger than this, like uh, more of a wad, then I'd be like, yeah, this hair sheds way too much. But um, you see how full that wig is and this much shedding and this right here are the products that i use to wash and condition the hair i use the avocado hydrating conditioner from cantu and then i use the um cantu shea butter for natural hair sulfate free cleansing cream shampoo i'm gonna blow this hair out so that we can start the process of laying the hair down um doing the ball cap method i just wanted to show you guys what the hair looked like um wet and how beautiful the pattern is when it's wet Super pretty. All right, you guys. So we are switching this thing into voiceover mode. So yeah, I just went ahead and put on a ball cap or a wig cap um, that I got with the hair. Um, definitely don't use anything black or too dark. 
So go with the light lighter colors. And I will be using the Bold Hold um, Lace Adhesive. So yeah, and I just basically did like one dot above, one dot below. Um, and honestly, this is a product that I shouldn't have used. So honestly, just go in with your got to be glued spray because that's what I did later on, um, but I didn't show it. But yeah, don't, mm, don't, don't use the lace glue because it just, it definitely showed in the cap but um, I was able to cover it and everything. It just don't, don't use it if it's your first time. So I just went ahead and blended it out. Um, and then I definitely got a new tip to use hot air for the blow dryer instead of cold. Um, it definitely dries a lot quicker um, and it still does the same job, dries clear. So definitely use hot air um, and it will dry a lot faster. Here I go putting in another layer of the lace glue. Um, so yeah, like I said, please do not, if you it's your first time doing a ball cap, do not use lace glue. But um, yeah, I just repeated the same exact process. You're gonna see later I went in with a uh, got to be glued spray, but I just didn't show it. All right, so here I am cutting out the ear so that it can fit like a closer fit on my um, actual skin instead of it being like above on top of my ears. So here's where I use the got to be glued spray. You can kind of tell that it was like dripping or like that. So that's after me spraying the got to be glued. And then I'm just cutting the excess cap off so that I can be left with the um, you know cap that's actually stuck to my head for the ball cap method. Y'all, them scissors were really giving me trouble. They were the most dullest scissors I've ever used in my life. So I was so happy when I used these razors um, because they just quickly cut it off. So yeah, I went ahead since then and bought some nice scissors because nah, them freaking elementary school paper cutting scissors was not, it was not doing the job. So yeah, just go ahead and razor off like all the excess caps. Then from here, I went in with my Juvia's Place foundation um, in the shade Malawi 230. So yeah, I just went ahead and used um, something that was, I thought it was gonna be my skin tone. I don't know. I feel like it was a little light and I think it made it lighter when I put it on top of that glue. Like as you guys can see, the glue was like emphasized with the foundation with the makeup. Like it, it basically, it, it didn't look like ball cap. <laughs> so that's the reason why I was like, yeah, never again. I'm not going to use the um, lace glue again because it just looks crazy. It don't look, it don't look seamless. So that was my mistake. Um, but yeah, just, just use the free spray and that's all. So I'm getting ready to put the wig on um, just to see what it will look like, you know, with the whole wall cap method. Honestly, it didn't look really that bad. Um, you couldn't really see the that glue section too much, so um, it didn't bother me that that much. At least I made sure that the glue section was further back than like you know from the front. So. Now I'm just going ahead and making sure that I apply the glue on my skin and on the cap part section so that the cap, the, the cap piece in the front uh, can be flat to my skin. And I can go ahead and apply the wig um, after everything is all dried. Same process, same concept, uh, blowing with hot air instead of cold. 
And yeah, then I just went ahead and like tacked it down after like the second layer of glue. So, I'm back. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this process was very, very hard. Not really that blended, honestly. So the edges are gonna have to save me as far as like me laying the baby hairs and stuff, cause it's not cute. I don't, I don't really care for how it's looking right now. I'm also gonna cu um, cut the hair some more because I don't like how long it is right here. I just want it to be like, 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 like right here. I got the hot comb heating. I like this length better than this. And this is what I mean by y'all, y'all, when I mean by this hair gets like a really big, frizzy afro. As you can see, I wanted to see if the side part on this side would look cute. It would look a little bit better than what it was looking like. I'm taking my hot comb. This is the Andis hot comb. This one is from Walmart, so. And I'm just gonna go at my roots with it. Um, let me add some mousse. I'm gonna add mousse to like the perimeter of my hair. We gonna try with the So now I'm gonna take the Care Care stick and all these flyaways, gotta go. It's basically a hair wax stick, so anything you have, the she is balm. If you wanna use got to be, go ahead and use it and just like lay those hairs how you want them to be laid. Cause this, you don't want any flyaways flying away. All right, so this is how it's looking without the baby hairs, without me like um, doing anything or styling the the baby hairs um, just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the baby hairs um, right now. The edges look pretty fine with the ball cap. Like my edges, when I applied this the first time, I didn't, I don't, I didn't use the ball cap method. Our Connie Coil Care, and then like the got to be glued on top of it is actually a bomb combination. This is how much shedding I just got. Oh, that much. Which is not too bad. This 
hair just shed. Just know that if you do rake, if you're gonna rake your hair, your fingers through the hair, it's gonna shed. I'm loving the way this is looking. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. I don't want to mess it up, y'all. It was such a struggle to get to this point. I want to thank God. Um, I want to thank God to be glued. Um, I want to thank all my haters because you really were trying to make sure that the lace was going to be, you know, visible. But God had other plans. Period. All right, my kings and queens, so you have watched how I installed this wig. Um, I am only gonna get better. This is my first time doing a bald cap method, but um, we've had some bumps and some interruptions and some mess ups and hiccups and whatnot in the road, but it's okay. Um, Cause honestly, this looks pretty good. Um, for my first time doing the bald cap method, I thought it was gonna come out a lot worse cause I did not know what I was doing. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second when I'm all put together and I don't look too dry and crusty and crazy, so. All right, you guys, so you have made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching this video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to learn some things. Um, I'm glad, I hope you were able to see my mistakes and you know, if you have any tips, leave some in the comments down below for me to like, you know, learn from you because I'm always open to learning. Be a little, be respectful, okay? Be respectful. There's a way to, there's a way to give advice. I did straighten this. I, I wanted a straight blunt bob, y'all, but my flat iron, my flat iron didn't get hot enough to be like, you know, cut, doing it straight, straight. So it was kind of like a poofy straight. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, and like, so I just didn't like it. So I was like, let me see if it'll revert back to its curls. And look, sure enough, it is very much curls on and pop. If I talk too much, I'm gonna be rambling on even more about this hair. So uh, let me cut this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. We are almost at 50K, baby. We are almost at 50K. Y'all keep subscribing and liking and commenting on my videos. I love each and every single one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.